Hello everybody, my name is Hong Dalin. Today I'm going to show you my final project for CSE 5546, which is an eye tracking project that tracks the doctor's eye movement on the cancer image. I'm responsible for the development in the Unity part with my teammate Jason. As you can see from the scene, I imported a sample cancer image. There are three modes on my project. The four, first mode is canvas mode. As you can see here, I need to first um, disable the case image and enable the cam canvas image. So when we start the Unity project, um, the image will fit the um, the game screen. As you can see here, um, there are um, different options for the doctor to choose. For example, um, we could the doctor could use the mouse wheel to zoom into the image also use um the mouse to drag um the image to look um to the parts they want to look um for them to analyze the second mode is um zooming mode which we need to disable the canvas and enable the case image also we need to we don't need a file reader, that's for uh, mode 3. As you can see here, um, for the zooming mode, uh, when we start a program, um, the image will be resized to fit the game screen. So in this mode, um, the user have the option to use um, their mouse as an indicator for the position of the image of, uh, relative to the screen and use the mouse wheel to zoom in to that position. As you can see here, I'm zooming to my mouse position on the um, upper right. Uh, if I, I want to see this part of the image, I could just uh, move my mouse here and then zoom in to this area. As you can see here, this area is zooming. Also, um, I could use the mouse wheel to zoom out, um, as you can see here. So, um, um, as you can see here, um, this is like a manual process, but however, um, because of the data lacking, um, um, I'm only be able to do the manual part, but if I have the data for the important area on the image, I could calculate that, that area to calculate the center point and transfer to the screen points and do an auto zooming, um, for the, for uh, the doctor to see the cancer area more efficiently. Um, so the last mode is a file simulation mode. Um, so in this mode, we need to enable a file reader and uh, disable the auto zoom by point script. So in this mode, um, I'm going to simulate uh, analyze that tracking uh, users eye movements um with um these different directions for example up down left right zoom in zoom out um this part is um corresponding to uh, responsible for my um, teammates who use um python and ddip to do the eye tracking so my job here is simulate the file the data writing that records the user's eye movement so in this part um, every uh, reading time, the data will be read right to the file and read um, in, within Unity. Also, um, so because of this, and different camera movement will be decided based on the current um, user eye movement um, of record by the um, file. So, um, as you can see here um, in the console, um, so when I start a program, as you can see here, uh, when the user is uh, looking at the right side, the image will be moving to the right side. If the user is looking up, the image will going up. If, if the user is looking down, the user going down. As you can see here, we also have zoom in and zoom out. Um, I might just leave it here for some time to um, have a good demonstration, I guess. 
uh, because of because this um art movement uh decided um randomly. So uh, with Python, we could do a more uh, accurate tracking. Here in the Unity part, we just simulate the data, uh, the user um, eye moving with, with within Unity. So uh, if we keep the reading time uh, quick, for example, like 0 0.1 seconds per read, then you could see the results of something like this. So this represent a user um, eye movement within um, that tr that we track the user's eye movement for the image. So yeah, that's all the um, projects about. Thank you very much.